Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the new Dior 2021 Summer Makeup Collection. Finally, we have the Dior Summer Makeup Collection and I'm so excited to show you my first picks from this collection and these are the two limited edition highlighters. I'm also expecting the eyeshadow quince, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be reviewing the whole Dior 2021 Summer Makeup Collection. However, the eyeshadow quints still haven't arrived. So in this video, we are going to focus only on the limited edition highlighters. I'm going to show you swatches. These are untouched, guys. And also I'm going to compare it, this one, I'm going to compare it to last year's Dior Skin Nude Luminizer, which looks quite similar to this year's. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe because there are so many exciting new releases that I'm going to be reviewing. We are going to have some newness from Hermes and we are going to, we are expecting also the Chanel Le Beige makeup collection. So please be sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on. I'm going to show you the new releases as soon as they arrive. So let's take a closer look at these two beautiful highlighters. I wanted to show you the highlighters immediately after they arrived. I haven't even swatched the, the, them and I'm going to do this right now with you, but just let's take a closer look at this beautiful design that reminds me of a summer dune. I've mentioned many times that Peter Phillips does amazing powder highlighters and Dior's powder highlighters are some of my favorite highlighters of all time. This one is the Dior Skin Nude Luminizer in number 001 Pink Dune and this one I think is going to be my favorite. Now let's take a closer look also at the peachy one. And this is in number 002 Peach Dune. And look at the beautiful patterns, guys. I was almost tempted to get two of these just so that I can use one. And these are definitely collectible with these beautiful dune patterns. They remind me of the sand and I think that it's going to be so much fun to use this. And last year in Italy, I was only able to get the peachy highlighter from the Summer Makeup Collection, and this is this one. So in today's video, I'm also going to swatch this and this, and I'm going to give you some comparison swatches to see how these two compare. Um, because last year, I was not able to get the pink highlighter. They look quite similar, but actually not that similar. We are going to see now as we swatch them. I almost feel sorry that I have to dip my finger here, but I already have some photos. So let's go ahead and let me swatch this beauty. Okay, I'm gonna start with the pink one. Look at this beautiful glow. And then let's, let's do also the peachy one. So I think that these two highlighters are going to look beautiful, not only on the face, but also on the eyes. I always show you guys how to use the products on your face as well. So be sure to subscribe. I'm going to do some videos using these highlighters. Look how pretty that is. I'm definitely going to show you once we get some sunshine, I'm definitely going to show you also how these two swatches look in the sunshine. So keep an eye on my YouTube channel. I'm going to do more videos dedicated to this beautiful makeup collection because I always love and I, I feel like Dior make the best summer makeup collections. Let me know in the comments below if you agree. When I film videos, I usually like to give you swatches in natural light. However, today the weather is very cloudy. So I have one soft box on so that we can get some additional light. But I'm definitely going to, in some of my next videos, I'm definitely going to show you swatches also completely in natural light, also in direct sunlight. And so make sure that you are subscribed and also turn the notification bell on. Now let's go ahead and swatch the last year's highlighter. And I'm going to swatch it right here next to the peachy highlighter. And let's take a closer look now. I think that they're not completely the same. I feel like last year's highlighter has a little bit more gold and this year's highlighter has a tiny bit more peachy, but it's like... So if you are a Dior lover, you will probably want to get, even if you have last year's highlighter, you would probably want to get also this year's highlighter as well for collecting purposes. However, I think that on the face, these two are not going to look 
um, difference. So if you already have the highlighter from last year's summer makeup collection, I don't think that you need this year's summer um, makeup collection highlighter nude luminizer. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I'm gonna give you a really, really good close up now. Hoping that the camera can focus really well. What do you think guys? I think that they're not that different and probably on the face they are not going to look very, very different. Okay guys, so now we have directly, we are very, very close to the window and we don't have additional lighting. So right now the light is only coming from the window because it's a little bit lighter, but still the weather is cloudy. Interesting. And last year, actually, I showed you how this highlighter looks on the eyes, and it looks beautiful used as eyeshadow. So I think that this color can be used very successfully also as eyeshadow. I think that this one also can be used on the eyes. I'm going to see, I'm definitely going to show you more looks using this makeup collection and I can't wait to get my hands on the eyeshadow quins because they look absolutely gorgeous. So I think that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, bye!